Hello, good morning everybody. I am back here on this stationary bike playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild to distract me from all this exercise. I am doing a 100% warpless playthrough that looks like this, where we don't use any tra fast travel but collect everything. Uh, we are down in the Farron region down here. We've been hanging out with Feroge the Friendly Dragon, who's been very generous in, uh, in all the dragon parts. He's been letting us farm. And we just woke up from another campfire. Oh no, I had to reload the game. So my campfire is gone, and I wonder if my my streak of having Feroche just spawn immediately after I wake up has ended. We're gonna try it again since we're here and it's not raining. Just gotta find blank find anything in this bag. It is quite the bag, right? Brandon, I guess that's the end of our camping streak. Any dragons. Um, let's not get struck by lightning. Just be All right, well, if, uh, Roche doesn't come in, oh, and it's back to collecting. Seed platform at the base of the water pond swim up using Zork. You can hear him. Maybe we will. We can get both. We can do it. One of the ends. He knocked me out of that for sure. Oh, and he knocked me into the. What is this? <laughs> I think we lost everything there. Hello, Galaxy Mew. Welcome. We got fooled by the dragon. Okay, see, I need a claw off of him or horn. I'm not going to be able to hit that. We'll wait for him to come back, maybe. Well, let's try this one again. Ah, you're Blue's kid. Well, wel welcome. Pretty simple uh, setup. I'm I'm doing this for exercise every morning for an hour. Everybody's allowed to. Anybody and everybody is allowed to and encouraged to. Uh, if that's what you want to do and work out, great. If not, hey, just hang out for the for the gaming. But welcome. We're pretty far pretty far into this run. Hang on. Let me get out of here and then I'll turn on the map. Oh, shrimp. Got a lot of shrines, been a lot of places. 
and we're working on it. Nope, this one. But at least we're launching these balls with, uh, with one of these instead of stasis. That's stasis. Center. Sure, we'll take it. Let's see this one. That is a nice, easy shrine. Okay, so now with this done, looking at my map, at the entire Floria region, I see two things I missed. There's a talus right in the middle, so I gotta get that, and there's a Korok seed a little bit to the west of there. So, go get those, especially while we wait for Feroche to come back. There he is. I can hear the wind, I think. I can see the wind. Whoa! Let's get a thunder helm on. Where's this dragon? We need a claw. We need... Come on, you could do that. So I was definitely hitting him in the literal claw. I hope the hand counts. Because everything else was going right for me. Well, okay, that's what we need. Uh, okay, I think I am one Perosh running away from having the collection. Okay. Let's take that bow that we desperately need for our 
archery lessons. Um, and it's not raining, so let's try our camp trick. See if we can get another ferocious out of this. Can you explain to me how this works? Are you using a controller? Yes, so I am just playing the game regularly on a con with a controller. My chair just happens to be a stationary bike, and the idea rule is that I'm pedaling all the way. It was originally going to be I'm just pedaling when I was riding a horse, but that wasn't enough. Oh, what am I going to do? Horn? No, mouth. This is no good. I need air time. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm doing that. I'm doing it an hour every day, uh, every, every weekday morning for the sake of exercise and creating a good habit. And I'm doing everything, every, up, getting every item, all Korok seeds, all uh, upgradable armors with all upgrades, all shrines, DLC. I'm not doing the master quest where, you know, everything is just harder and the enemies are hard, but like, other than that, I'd say it's a fair, fair take on 100%. And I've been doing it since January, and it's been awesome. I've been riding and exercising more than I ever have, so it's a success in that department. And uh, the biggest problem is that Breath of the Wild 2 isn't out yet, so I'm going to have to think of another game for after I beat this. Wait, what was I saying? Is there anything? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get everything. Yeah, the point is for it to be a long, long quest because this game is fun. So it serves as a very good per. It serves very well to be the distraction that I need. Okay. Uh, let's. That talus that I forgot to get. That's over here, and the Korok seed is over here. So that's where I'm going. Then I'm gonna. Oh, we're already so high. I want to see if this, uh... Here's what I should do. I also still need Lionel parts, and especially Star Fragments. And the Lionel we fought up here before gave me a Star Fragment. Is there any chance in hell I'm going to be able to climb this through brute force in this rain? Ah, is that a shrine? Barely made it. Oh, I don't know. Wait. I beat the slime all, but we didn't have a blood moon. Yes. That was slow. Okay, fair enough. I have to find more Lionels elsewhere. Do I have Japanese audio on? That's a blue. Uh, no, just the English, so. All of the. Terrible voice acting of Princess Zelda is on display. I wonder if it's better in the Japanese. Is she not so... Like, stiff sounding? Be interested to know. That's a pinwheel. That was one balloon. Let's see what the matter is. It climbs the savage reason. Three balloons appear. Wounds were well hit. 
Yeah, you're telling me. Mifa's grace is ready. Dragon friend again. Well, no, they just. There's one. Definitely well hidden. And the clue on this map that said they're well hidden is not quite sufficient enough to give me the clues I need. I saw a shadow up there. The internet has plenty of shots of the balloon that was standing right there. But, uh, I'm not seeing the other Hearing it go in and out as I get within range of the pinwheel, but I'm not seeing it. The sun is rising, so maybe that will help. Keep in there? No, that was a leap. Nonsense is this. If I get too close to the edge, it'll disappear. I do like a backflip. Does that work? Get a backflip with air time peg. Except the guy. Oh, they really hit that one. Yeah. Go beat up some palace. This way. Left. Is that a whole new, a whole new day of ferocity? What time is it? We need Fang. Did I get Fang? Wait a minute. I think I'm done. Didn't I? Check the bat. Uh, Farouche. Four horns. Where's my shopping list? <laughs> Farouche. Four Farouche horns. Fangs. Four Farouche fangs. Two ferocious claws and two scales. We're done with ferocious. Mm. 
We got these difficult Koroks. We're just trying to clean up after them. They've left this stuff everywhere. Uh, okay, let's do one of those. Let me not mark this guy off. Let's change back into a more comfortable outfit. Now, let's look at where we are. We are in dead center in this Floria region, and I have collected everything within, within uh, these waterfalls. Uh, I think I want to go north up here. Because there is a Korok seed there. There, and there's a Hinox there, and a Korok Seed, and I think what might be the final piece of DLC equipment. Thinking, I said I have 500 something Koroks. Wow, that's a lot. And that's even more for not using the map. Like I'm, I'm, I have, I have a, a lot of them. Most of them, I think it's over 700. But I have been using a map. Morning Blue, welcome. We, well, why is my, yeah, my controller froze for a second. We finished up with our friend Farouche. It's been great. Um, let's pick that. And I have to go to the right. Yeah. Falling down there? Look, fall down. Got my Zora armor. I'm, I'm taking the waterfalls up. Yeah, I know. I had never thought of the Japanese audio, but I'm sure, like so many things, it's probably better, even though I can't understand it at all. But better that than Zelda's stilted tears every time. So, probably not going to be. I don't know. I guess they, they just didn't spend a lot of time on the uh, on the English language soundtrack voices, whatever. There are how many are oh. I was gonna say I don't care how many arrows I have, I'm always gonna just kill these. Damn Octoroks, but four of them, come on. Save enough for archery college here. Thunderstorming, so I really don't need. I think I actually need to be going up. So let's, let's burn the Revali scale. There we go. Revali's laugh in Japanese is good. Okay, that one I don't know either. And he his he could use a little bit more softening. I think he comes across as a total jerk in the English. 
Uh, okay, we're going to the red one. Everything is still raining. That? That's nothing. We have a, a race platform. Fine, there it is. Did we cheat with Ravali? I bet we don't need to, right? Because it's. Enough of the rain, I would have tried it honest. Hey look, I've got somebody trying to make everybody famous. Yeah, I'll take, uh... I'll, I'll take care of that in a second. Hopefully he won't bombard us with more spam. <laughs> Nobody look the bot in the eyes. Eve here. That's the flower. This location on. That's facing south. There's a Hinox down there. They say that there's a Guardian just on this ridge, too, and something I need is more ancient cores. How many miles or calories? This is a good question that I have been neglecting to track the entire time. Uh, so here, here, I'll. I'll tell my side of the story here. I got this bike, this stationary bike, right? And it serves its purpose. Um, it actually broke on me uh, early, like two or three months in, like the pedals threading just wore off. And so, you know, it was kind of, uh, I was less than happy with that. And the readout on the bike, it's very pl plain simple. You know, you put a AA battery in and it gives you whatever numbers and beeps really loudly. So I had started doing that, but I never looked at it. And so after I got the bike replaced because it broke, I never put uh, batteries in this one. So I don't quite know, but I also didn't ever look to, uh, to see. But I'm going at a pretty good clip, like, even though it's meaningless, the I'm on resistance seven out of eight. Ooh. Um, so yeah, I don't know. How long can one travel when when pedaling constantly for about an hour? I also th think, thought, justified my laziness um, with the thought that, well, riding a stationary bike, the calories, the, you know, the distance, like, it's not the same as riding an actual bike, so this is all a farce anyway. I do put batteries on my smoke detectors. Unless the previous ones break and then I'm frustrated. No, no, I'm kidding. I, <laughs> I put batteries in the smoke detectors. 
Uh, royal Broadsword. 52 power Royal Broadsword. That's pretty good. Let's get that. That. Mark off the Hinox. Let's go. North to this lake. Expect K to run normal play. Well, you know, the beauty of this, I think, for me, is that I wasn't either. Like, I, I tried to, you know, get into a running habit earlier, or last year, again, but I hate running. Like, who am I kidding? Oh, this is a black muck type of situation, isn't it? Um, and sitting with the gym, uh, I, I just can't get myself, uh, interested at all in complete the rock triangle on the island in the tar pit, knock down a tree to make a bridge. What? Um, but this worked. Nope, that, that didn't, that part didn't work, but, but this worked just because, like, it, it like, I knew, realized that if I'm just playing games, I can keep my legs moving. And then by the end of an hour of playing, I'm just all sweaty. So I must have <laughs> I must have gotten a pretty good workout. And yeah, it's been great. So that's what I say about that. I I like playing games. I think it's a good way to Distract yourself into some exercise, which we all need for our general health and well-being. Yeah. Oh. Uh, there. And then we also have a chest. There's that chest. Dance helmet, Twilight Princess fans. Unfreezable. That uh, doesn't seem particularly useful. I don't. Know. Who hits me with freeze? Probably. I'm sure there's some boss that does, but. All right, more balloons. Is it that they don't move, or is it that I? No, they move. Use tricky Korax. Oh, so truth be told, I have generally been pausing my pedaling when when aiming my my bow, which eh, it's all I can do. I thought I would get better at. It. I think I'm getting a little better at it, doing well the pedaling. Hey, dance exercise is great. That's another another example of like fun to distract. Uh, from to distract the from the hard work. Okay, we gotta get north, not north. We gotta get up here. Put the Korok there and there. I've gotta climb. Yeah. That slope seems more achievable. That's right. We got one Ravali left right now. I 
that's a rare ore. Yep. That ain't good stuff in there. Okay. Oh, the rain. Perfect. Oh, and maybe, maybe there's even a guardian right here. Need to find the ancient cores. Plus side too, as I found out, <laughs> both doing that stupid archer camp and fighting Thunderblade again, and having a having a bike run right underneath your feet is a really good outlet for frustration. Those things are being real tough. The Master Sword is glowing. It wants it wants to fight. Take apart this guardian and see if you've got any ancient cores inside. Got one, ancient core. Nice. Another pinwheel up there. I'm gonna have to do these with shock arrows soon. We'll just do them with shock arrows. Thirty-five shock arrows. Frenic bow is not doing me any favors right now. Too much zoom. There's more. More still? More still. Where? Sounds like a blood moon. Not thought I heard the, the little whine that starts that music sometimes.
Up for another talus. And maybe I should just keep climbing to the top, really. But it's just there's just too much to get. This guy, it's that guy. The weather. The weather's not too bad. 940, this is a good time to be spotting shooting stars. I think we're going to climb to the top of the Dueling Peaks. Oh, and this is a... Uh, isn't this something where, like... Solution to the one at the top is on the other peak. I'm gonna, I think I gotta look that up. Not fast traveling, but we do have, do have perfect memory. Mountains around, cross the entire map. It's cold up here. is now ready to roll. No shooting stars. Let's do this. to be found uh but let's unlock this and i do have the solution because no fast travel this is just easier 
So the whole gimmick is the other... The, this arrangement is found in the other shrine on the other peak. And then we're supposed to go back and forth and... When you've got fast travel, that's pretty easy. I'm just gonna rely on Link's excellent memory. Nobody, nobody really knows Link for how good of a memory he has. Some people know how good he is at organizing bags to be able to fit all of his items in there. But he also has a very good memory. Canonical. Uh, that doesn't look correct, unless I just did this in reverse. Uh, let's suppose then that one is the first one, or one is the top. That, is that another thing either? When facing the un the locked door, each orb fits in the following columns. Two, four, two, one, five. Each orb, when facing the, wait, don't we start a picture? There's gotta be a picture. Solution to the puzzle. Okay, so wait, five is the top. I, I don't know how, how they intended the... Oof, those numbers to be communicated, but I... Gotta do a little bit more rearranging. Edge of duality. Good sword. Okay, this one's done. Seven sixty-eight Korok seeds. Very high number of little Korok lumps we're carrying around here. Skeletons I don't care for. Uh two fifty-five AM, I'm not chasing any shooting star even if I see it at this point. Where's the other dueling peak? Right about here. And there's a rock there with my name on it. Right in the middle of Hyrule Field, there? 
is that? That is that one. That one is still on my map as needing to be done. Solution to this too. Let's let's go up here and take a look. Actually, I just need to move two. Serpentine Spear. This is a Hyrule Compendium thing that we need. Believe it or not. Compendium. Let's mark that off. Marco, I think I do. I, I, my list says I have all the DLC. Pretty good. Okay. That's done. Pick up the better spear. Uh, I have. Okay, 23, seven minutes left. I think that seven minutes is enough time to work, spiral my way down this secondary dueling peak to get the two to three core oxides there. Uh, actually, do you get something for completing the compendium? I mean, we definitely get bragging rights. Um, I don't know if they give you an item or somebody says something. I think it's mostly uh, on the 100% list because it is a clear objective that can be accomplished, but his... <laughs> that can be accomplished in 300 plus easy steps. 
Just like the Korok suits. But yeah, there's a couple of, there's a handful, and I am willing to, yeah, exactly, Galaxy. Uh, I'm gonna buy the, the photos I'm missing, because there are some, like, I think I'm still missing, like, something very rudimentary. Like a wooden bow or something. Or no, I got that. There's a, there's a few pretty early ones that I don't have, and then there's, uh, oh, wait, let me look at what these Korok seats are. We need those boulders. Doesn't look great. Well, we'll see. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not 100% that I'm going to buy them, but that's going to be <laughs> determined when I show up in Hotano Village again and how far behind I am. How, how many I miss them. And we're not that far from Hotano. We'll finally... I will finally show them who the Weapon Connoisseur is. This is going to be such a pain, unless this just hits. <laughs> nice. Shrine around here. Do we spot any guardians? There should there should be guardians in these ridges. I do still need cores. Uh, we would treasure. Three apples. A pretty hefty sledgehammer. Just gonna go north looking for guardians. Let's let's. Oh, we got three minutes left. Yeah, let's loop around back, crossing the river for another Korok seed. The Lord of the Mountain is still there. It's daytime. I didn't think that was a thing. He is mocking me. That's one of the pictures I don't have. Yeah, I'm Lord of the Mountain. I intend to get that one, though. I still have a bunch of uh, Korok seeds to get a Coliseum. That should, that should put me close enough in the neighborhood. Is this... What is this? I don't know how to get up there. I think it's right here. Yep. Yeah. Right, let's con let's continue along to this yellow one. That's a Korok loop that kind of leads me with a bit of a walk to the next one, but. That's that's how the last Korok in any region goes. <clears throat> I think get that one called a day. It is just about <clears throat> coming up on 8:30, which is our usual stop time slash. I've got to get myself to work time, so It'll be until tomorrow after that. These boulders. There's... I don't care about 
think I should. Mark a Look at those blue skies. Here we go. Maybe one more thing. Can we can we spot the the guardian? I thought it said that there would be a guardian. That's probably enough then. All right. Well, once again, stuck in the middle of nowhere, having collected most of the stuff. We'll probably head maybe head north this way tomorrow. Maybe into this region. Who knows? But this is a good place to call it a day. Thanks everybody for hanging out. Thanks for uh, tuning in, Newcomers Galaxy. Welcome. Um, I'll be back here uh, tomorrow morning uh, doing more of this and, uh, yeah, rounding out this game. I feel like within the next two months, I should be able to complete it, right? We'll see. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Have a great day. See you next time. Later.